Hello everyone, welcome back to Physics HQ. This is Professor Sandeep, your tutor for the class 12 series. Continuing with the lecture series of solving MCQs and sums of class 12, today we will be continuing with the MCQs of chapter 9, Current Electricity. So let us check out the first MCQ. Kirchhoff's first law, that is summation of I equal to 0 at a junction, deals with the conservation of charge, energy, momentum or mass. So the correct option over here is option A charge. What Kirchhoff's first law says that if you have a junction over here then incoming current will be equal to outgoing current. So if you have I1 and I2 as incoming and I3 as outgoing so I can write I1 plus I2 this is equal to I3. Or you can take this I3 on the other side which will make this equal to 0 which is nothing but summation of all I over here is equal to 0. Now when current flows means the charge is flowing. So whatever is the amount of charge that is reaching to this junction will be leaving this junction. Therefore this law deals with conservation of charge. Hope you all understood this. When the balance point is obtained in the potentiometer, current is drawn from both the cells and auxiliary battery, cell only, auxiliary battery only or neither cell nor auxiliary battery. So for this let us consider a potentiometer which is having a battery of EMF E and this is the potentiometer wire over here. Now let us say if we have connected cell of EMF E1 over here and there is this galvanometer which shows the reading of current which detects the flow of current and while moving the jockey if we found the balance point over here then the deflection in the galvanometer will be zero. Now if deflection is zero means there is no current flowing from this path and if there is no current flowing from this path means current is not drawn from this cell the current is only drawn from the auxiliary battery so the correct option is option C hope you all understood this let us check out the next MCQ in the following circuit diagram an infinite series of resistance is shown equivalent resistance between points A and B is infinite 0 2 or 1.5 ohm. What we can do is we can redraw this in this fashion where you have terminal A and B. This is 1 ohm, this is 2 ohm. And let us say that ye pure network ka up to infinity, the answer comes out to be X ohm. Now from here what we can say is resistance from A to B is nothing but these two things in parallel plus this 1 ohm. We have 1 in series with these two in parallel 2 and x so 2 into x divided by 2 plus x this is the resistance between point a and b now we don't know what is x over here now let us understand this part that humne kya kya ye pura network ko we have assumed up till infinity to be having value how much x and what is this network made up of this network is made up of this series 1 ohm and parallel 2 ohm series 1 ohm and parallel 2 ohm now if we add one more series 1 ohm and parallel 2 ohm it will not change the value because it is already extended up to infinity. So what we can say is that even this part if we include in the network this will also be having the resistance x. So if we put that value over here what we get is x is equal to 1 plus 2x upon 2 plus x. If we try to simplify this x is equal to 2 plus x plus 2x divided by 2 plus x let us cross multiply we will have 2x plus x square this is equal to 2 plus x plus 2x is 3x let us take it on one side we will have x square plus 2x and minus 3x from the other side will give us minus x minus 2 this is equal to 0 we can write this in in the form of x minus 2 x plus 1 equal to 0 and from this we get x is equal to 2 or x is equal to minus 1 we know that resistance cannot have negative values so the correct value of resistance is 2 over here so the correct option is option c hope you all understood this let us check out the next mcq four resistances 10 ohm 10 ohm 10 ohm and 15 ohm form a Wistone's network what shunt is required across 15 ohm resistance to balance the bridge the options are 10 15 20 or 30 ohm let us first talk about what is a Wistone's network so when you have four resistances connected in this fashion and over here we have a galvanometer connected and this entire thing is connected to a power supply this is r1 R2, R3 and R4. 
then if the current through this galvanometer becomes zero we can say that Wheatstone network is balanced over here yeah Wheatstone bridge is balanced over here the condition for it to balance is R1 upon R2 is equal to R3 upon R4 now the values that we have over here is 10 ohm 10 ohm 10 ohm and 15 ohm now as we can see over here R1 upon R2 is 10 upon 10 which is equal to 1 and R3 upon R4 over here is 10 upon 15 which is definitely not equal to 1 so what we need to do is we need to connect a resistance in parallel with this in shunt with R4 so that the overall resistance of this combination will be equal to 10 so that we can get this ratio of 1 over here now let us use the parallel equivalent ka formula so parallel equivalent will be 1 upon R plus 1 upon R4 over here we want the parallel equivalent to be equal to 10 so that the bridge is balanced R is the unknown resistance that we have to connect R4 we already know it is 15 from this what we can say is 1 by R is equal to 1 by 10 minus 1 by 15 if we take the LCM over here LCM will be 30 this will be 3 minus 2 which is 1 by 30 so from this we can say that we need to connect a shunt resistance of 30 ohm over here so that the bridge is balanced so the correct option is option D hope you all understood this let us check out the next MCQ a circular loop has a resistance of 40 ohm two points P and Q of the loop which are one quarter of the circumference apart are connected to a 24 volt battery having an internal resistance of 0.5 ohm what is the current flowing through the battery 0.5 1 2 or 3 ampere so let us draw this circle and locate two points which are one fourth of the circumference apart one quarter circumference apart so these are the two points that we got now they have connected a battery of 24 volt over here and this battery has some resistance of 0.5 ohm over here now the entire length of this loop is having resistance 40 so one fourth of it will be having resistance 10 ohm and the other three fourth will be having resistance 30 ohm so I can redraw the circuit as 30 ohm connected in parallel with 10 ohm and we have a 0.5 ohm ka resistance over here with 24 volt battery so we'll find out the parallel equivalent of this so parallel equivalent will be equal to shortcut is multiply the two 30 into 10 and add the two in the denominator 30 plus 10 so this is equal to 300 by 40 0 0 is cancelled and 30 by 4 will be 7.5 ohm so this is what we get and what we find is 7.5 ohm and 0.5 ohm are in series and their equivalent will be 8 ohm by ohms law we can find the current I is equal to V by R V is 24 volt and resistance is 8 ohm so we got the current as 3 ampere so the correct option is option D let us check out the next MCQ to find the resistance of a gold bangle two diametrically opposite points of a bangle are connected to the two terminals of the left gap of a meter bridge a resistance of the 4 ohm is introduced in the right gap what is the resistance of the bangle if the null point is at 20 cm from the left end options are 2, 4, 8 or 16 ohm in the left gap we have a bangle ka two diametrically opposite points connected in the right gap we have a resistance of 4 ohm and on this 1 meter wire the null point is obtained at 20 centimeter from the left end so the remaining will be 80 centimeter over here now let us say that x is the resistance of the gold bangle so the two halves of this gold bangle will be having resistance x by 2 and x by 2 and they are connected in parallel over here so the resultant parallel resistance will be multiplication of the two in the numerator and addition of the two in the denominator so this is equal to x square by 4 and x over here so x in x will be cancelled and we are left with x by 4 so the resultant resistance in the left gap is x by 4 and we know that resistances are directly proportional to the length so x by 4 divided by resistance on the right this will be equal to length on the left hand side is 20 centimeter and to the right is 80 centimeter so we can write x by 4r this is equal to 20 by 80 is also 
4 1 by 4 and this 4 and 4 can be cancelled and what we get x is equal to 4 which is 4 so we can say the resistance of the gold bangle is how much 4 ohm so the correct option is option b hope you all understood this thank you for your time if you are finding this lecture series useful then show us your appreciation by clicking on the like button and don't forget to share it with your friends and classmates as you know based on your feedback and suggestions we'll be covering key concepts under our 5 minutes lecture series of class 12 so please feel free to let us know the topic you want us to cover. See you all in the next class. This is Professor Sandeep from Physics HQ signing off.